What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Broken Age. We are here in uh, Shelton or something. We're trying to get the the Ch Mog Chother thing going. What's this supposed to be? How uh, does this go work on the ribbon? I feel like I shouldn't do that. Can we use it? Oh, can we put that fish on the? Fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Ooh, can we fill it with the chum? Come to me, old chum. Who? I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? <laughs> Ooh. What's that? Did a whale swim by? That's the note, okay? It oh, should we? It's like love potion for seagulls. <gasps> it's like love potion for seagulls. What about like love potion for Mog Chothra? Nah. No. No. Uh, how about with them? <laughs> Oh! Gross, Drusilla! Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Ho ho ho! Oh, the seagulls! Is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? Yep. Yoink! Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? <laughs> Ow! I exude it naturally! Yeah, she sure you do. Whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chopra about you, Drusilla. Ho ho! What do we got this for? Can I use it on myself? Squirt, squirt. Monsters go for these days. Well, it is a giant squid monster, so you know, giant squid monsters are gonna eat fish. Hey, yo. Marshall Dune? Mm hmm. I need an enter maiden's I feast. I need to enter the maiden's feast. Well, I suppose I do owe you one for your help with construction. Oh, my, oh, my. Now that is how you attract a monster. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. Boosh! Holy monstrous! Okay, can we start it's now? Showtime. Oh, it's showtime! Wait, I'm not ready yet. What? Well, I owe you one, so I can stall for a little while, but hurry back. I can't keep the beast from coming. Oh, we gotta get a weapon. I have to get some sort of powerful weapon before Mog Chathra gets here. Okay, we gotta go to the shrine of the blind something. Okay, so we refilled their um squirter. Shh. Here she comes again. Halt! The dead eye god sees no one. What about if I gouge my eyeballs out? And they can't see me, they're dead. Can I go inside? Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, because it's kind of cold out here? Because you guys are gardening, so it must be cool. Oh. Because it's kind of cold out here? The Deadeye Pyramid provides sanctuary only for the Deadeye God. I mean, and if... And his devoted followers, when we're on a break. But no one enters the Deadeye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless... What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of Yorn... Oh, uh, the yeah. riddle of yarn. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Okay, let's hear it. No problem. Let's hear it. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of yarn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed. Is it a tree? Up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yes. I think it's a tree. Bring us the solution and you may enter the pyramid. Bring you the solution? Uh, what's the Battle what's of Volgantol? The Battle of Volgantol? The final See, this one. battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm. Sounds promising. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Okay, let's give them this. I have a piece of art here that is the solution to your riddle. Does it have a pit? 
Or children? Yes. Not really. Okay, I retract my statement. Um... <laughs> the sun? Oh, what happened to the gun? Oh, that's right, we squirted it on them. The this sun. This pretty window is the solution to the riddle? Are you asking me or telling me? Telling you? Dang it. I think it's the stool, because it's a tree, the right? The stool is the solution to your riddle. How's that? Well, I mean, you could sit on it while you think of the real answer. Oh, come on, it's like a tree. A tree. A ladder. Think about this. You can take down a ladder. <laughs> Go on. And it can rise again and get you out of a pit. But what about the rotten bed? Well, just ignore that part. You can't ignore the riddle of yarn. Can I just annoy them into letting me in? Uh, cloud the shoes. The solution to your riddle is cloud shoes. We don't even know what those are, but no. I'm pretty sure it's a tree. Um, I feel like the art was a good thing. Plus, we don't have anything to do with the art yet. Okay, let's go back. Talent portion. <laughs> oh boy. Oh gosh, this is so bad. Yo, can I get a piece of you? I'll let you get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul rootless stump. Uh, that's rude. How you like them apples? I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from Meriloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. Oh. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Dang. Okay, so you could try the ladder to make him barf. Or you can just go like this. You can still see the grain of the wood. <laughs> ah, it doesn't get old. Um, alright. <laughs> okay, we gotta find some... Something that's the solution to the riddle. I still think it's got to be a tree, right? Because you kill a tree, but then, like, the saplings of the tree come back out of the rotten bed of the tree. Uh, can we use this with the I feel the like horn? I shouldn't do that. How about this with the nah, horn? Nah, that doesn't need a new sun. That's, How about that's this? That's not a good place to hang a ladder. Stool. That's not a good use for a stool. Uh, cloud juice. No way. They're just my size. I'm keeping them. All right, let's head back in here. Uh, let's see. He said something about his Hi. girlfriend. Hey, Bella. Uh, do you know rise from rotten bed? Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. I will. Do you have anything else in here? Anything of use? At all? Let's see if we can check this up here. There's this. I'll put it back just as soon as I'm done with it. Okay, well we don't know what we need to use this for. So we're gonna head back up to the clouds. And um see about uh something up here, I guess. I don't know, we're we're pretty stuck. Uh, who's that? Hello? Is anyone down there? Oh. Over there? We need to tie some ladders together. Did you hear me? <laughs> the guy that's way up top. Oh gosh. Oh, this is not a light situation. That's okay. You're Cloudbeard. You're fine. No. I don't know what you mean. Uh, what's the sign? That's the way to harmony in his beard. Okay, so maybe this fountain can do something. What do we have here? Can I put this in the fountain? I don't think that would get me anything. Well, I mean, worth a shot. The sun thing? Nah, I think they'd break it. You're probably right. Uh, nah, that doesn't need a new sun. Especially not a vintage crystal one. Okay, what needs a new sun? I wonder, can we give... Let's go back. We haven't really done a ton with 
What's her face? Uh, this chick down here. Should we see if she wants us art? Maybe it would make things more cheerful around here if I hung some art. Maybe it would make things more cheerful if I hung myself. Oh, oh gosh. Hey, that's a little dark. Sorry. I didn't really mean it. Um, you want the ladder? Okay, they've been recently the ladder. Um, how about... I could make a million off of this idea. No way. It's too pretty. I'm keeping it. I don't need a ladder hanging off of me. Why not? Need help getting down? I've got a ladder. No. I'm never coming down. Uh-huh. Sure. Hi. Hi. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Okay, so lucky. Jeez. Okay, there's nowhere else. Back up. I think all we needed from her was the cloud shoes. Um, okay, so let's head up and... Ella, come on. That was not what we needed. Oh, I think I need to use a ladder to get up. I'm there. so stupid. I can't believe I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh man, I feel dumb. I'm right about the riddle. But I didn't get the right thing. I need a peach. Give me some fruit. Dang. What happened to the fruit last time? Did I eat it? I feel like I did. Okay. Oh, man. Sorry guys, I'm dumb. Just how it goes. It's how the cookie crumbles. You play the game, and you think you're all smart, and then you get stuck, and then you feel real stupid when you figure out the answer. Was a peach. Oh, it's gotta be, I have, there's nothing else. Okay, let's head down, and uh, let's go try and do this. Down, 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 down. Shoop. Okay, and let's uh, head over here and head down here. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. So my guess is we'll need a, lot of, a couple of these items for things in the shrine. The riddle. Where did I do my last peach? I got a peach. Didn't I? Did I? Am I just remembering things? Am I misremembering, uh... What happened? Maybe I gave it to the tree and was like, Oh, look at what I got. It's a peach. I'm gonna eat it. I probably did. Ooh, the talent portion? You don't say. Oh, gosh. It's so bad. Take peach. Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. No dur. Hit inside. Oh my god. You guys didn't that's even know so the cool. answer? Why didn't we get that? Oh man. That's been bugging us all day. You didn't what even know the answer? What does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh. Nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. <laughs> so they just made up a riddle. And then they, I'm uh... going in. Okay. Thanks. What's in the... Oh. It's a red and blue man. Okay, well, let's see. I wonder what that symbol means. Candle? Such strange shapes in here. What is this? Guess this is where they buried their old god. The sightless the one or whatever? This pyramid is transparent. So strange. <gasps> it's that same religious symbol. But this one is recessed, like a socket. Oh! 
It fits. It's the dead, a dead eyed god, that's right. He's like, oh, does this connect to the future? The ancient technology? Uh, man, my mouth tastes like death. Oh, hey, you found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. Uh, are you the dead eyed god? Are you the dead eyed god? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. Then you got I trapped in stasis? To the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. <laughs> uh... Were you really Were dead? Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. Oh. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into chrysolation, to tell you the truth. Uh, does the ship does you Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, mm. I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Okay. What do you need? Uh, can I help? Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. Nope. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? Nope. When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. Oh! Uh. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation. Oh, shoot! I wonder if that's the need. kid. I'm gonna need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. I bet. I bet. I don't, this is what my money's on, that this guy is the guy from the future. Maybe. Actually, no, he couldn't have been, because he's been here for 300 years. So that guy's from the future, not from, okay, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe time traveled, who knows. Uh, What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. It might still be, if there's time travel in this there. game. I don't think there's time travel. Uh, what does all this What's equipment all do? This equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What's the mission? What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. That's Runa a dumb was name. Dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. Did anybody, uh... How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. Oh. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Okay, so... We will uh, try and help him next time. Um, this has been Broken Age. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. This is getting exciting. There are spaceships and giant monsters. We're going to figure out where to go from here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!